Hello everyone, this is Dr. Elias from the Department of Education, Hazara University, Mansara. In my previous uh, presentation, in my previous talk, I discussed the qualities of a good research supervisor. Um, now the thing does not end, end there. For the successful completion of a good research process or research thesis, um, both the supervisor and the supervisees or the students should have certain qualities. So that's why in this current presentation, I would like to discuss some of the qualities that are needed for the successful completion uh, of, of research uh, thesis by student. So here we go. Uh, the first thing uh, which, is, which is very important generally but especially in the research context and as the qualities of the research students is actually academics. So usually more successful uh, research students are those who have good intelligence and who have good literacy and numeracy skills and in the current uh, world in this modern technology driven world, IT skills are quite important and uh, besides this they should have sound academic record. That often is a reflective of um, their intelligence um, and, their, uh, and their educational achievement. And then good reading habits. That is something I think above everything else. Uh, uh, the, the successful uh, or good quality research students should have good reading habits. Then the second category that I think is very important for a, 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 and actually a requirement for good research students is the aptitude, their aptitude which actually includes their curiosity. So if they are curious, they have a curious mind, a thinking mind. They are imaginative and creative, and they are responsible and independent for their own, uh, in terms of their own learning and development. So their aptitude is quite important. The next important thing that uh, good research students uh, usually have is their passion their passion or their love for what they are doing. So they are passionate about their research area and they are passionate about um, uh, the successful completion of their research area because they think that will actually contribute in some way to the society. And so also they have bigger dreams than others, than the, than the average research students. The next important thing is uh, passions which actually, are, uh, because we know that a research process is uh, often a tiring and frustrating uh, process and in many cases it's not a smooth journey. And so what the, 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 the good research student is someone who has these passions to deal with such uh, frustrating situations and tiring situations and to deal with difficulty that come along um, during this journey, this academic journey. Um, then, uh, I would say the, the next P, so P, 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 the next P is persistence and perseverance. Um, such research students or the, the, the research students that we can include in the category of the good research students or more successful research students are those who are not easily defeated and they are not easily distracted and they are goal setters and achievers. And so they persistently follow their goal um, on a very a kind of regular and persistent basis. And so they do not lose hope easily. The next very, very important thing um, that uh, good research students should have is that they, they should be organized. And that actually means they can plan well. They can plan their literature review, their methodology, their analysis um, processes, 
and all of these sub-steps sub that are included in the process of, of research. And they can pre-think, they can remain stuck to a plan, they are disciplined, and they have self-control. Now this self-control is quite important because in many cases you are frustrated and there are, there are other attractions that, that might take you away from that regularity that actually is needed and that organized kind of thinking and, and actions that are needed. And so this self-control is quite important um, to avoid distractions. The next very important quality is that they are self-critical. They are critical of their own uh, thinking. They are critical of their own objectives. They are critical of their own questions. They are critical of their own drafts of different chapters. So before they send those drafts or to their supervisors or to someone else, they actually critically look at whatever they, they did on their own. Um, we then move to the, the next thing that, uh, that is something needed for good research students, and that is active participants in professional development opportunities on and off campus. Usually the MPhil and PhD students who are actually pursuing their PhDs or their MPhils as regular students on campuses are uh, actually um, can have a number of opportunities, professional development opportunities, and so they should actively participate in those opportunities to develop themselves. Then the next thing is, uh, in many cases, it is quite helpful. Um, and so those students who interact with senior students and try to learn from them, senior students who have certain achievements and then they have made certain mistakes, so the more there is interaction between the senior students and these junior students, this is something that is quite important. So students who are open to interaction with senior students and senior and other colleagues, they will be better off in um, actually dealing with their own issues as research students. Then the next very important thing, important quality that research students should have is character and conduct. Remember that um, no research is considered as valid research that has not followed ethical considerations. And so these research students will follow and so they will be believers in, in, in an ethical conduct in terms of data collection, data analysis, in terms of keeping the privacy of the, uh, of the research participants and so on. And they're believers in hard work dedication and ethically correct ways and means of the research process. They do not believe in shortcuts and in, in kind of following the easy ways towards just, uh, just getting the degree. Then the next thing that uh, good research students have is that they are open about sharing their fears and their expectations with supervisors and colleagues. In many cases, they have certain expect expectations from their supervisors. In many cases, they have certain fears uh, related to their own abilities and capacities to collect data or to analyze data or to get to conclusions. And, and they keep those fears and expectations to themselves and the time passes and and, and so that can, have, that, that can lead to problems later on uh, to in, in the final stages and so that could be quite damaging. So this is quite important that research students are open about sharing their fears and their expectations and maybe their needs with their supervisors and maybe some other seniors. The next thing that I consider is a good as a quality of a good research student is that they focus on learning rather than just attainment of a degree. Remember a PhD or an, even an MPhil are uh, like uh, the highest uh, degrees and so the basic aim of such degrees should be the attainment of scholarship and learning rather than, than just the attainment of a piece of paper in the form of a degree. So this is something that good research students should have. 
The next thing is good research students are respectful and trusting. They have so they have respectful and trusting relationship with advisors and supervisors, but they are not dependent on them. So respecting or and trusting doesn't actually mean that uh, these students will depend on each and everything on their on. Uh, or they, or they should follow each and everything coming from the mouth of the supervisor. That's, that should not be the case. So there is a kind of trusting and respectful relationship between such a successful or good research students and, the super, and their supervisors. But there should be no compromise on their own independence as budding scholars and as budding intellectuals and as critical thinkers. So this is not like a whole list of the, uh, the qualities of good research students, but I think these are something that I, um, as a former research student and now as a research supervisor, I feel these are certain qualities that are very, very important for uh, the successful uh, research 